So this is HMH Unit 4. We're still working on Lesson 1 sample problems, but this is all about thermal energy. So we're looking at heat, and remember that heat we represent with a Q. You can never have Q, so it's always a change in Q. So you have delta Q equals M cat M C delta T. If we are... Um, Doing this in a triangle mode, it's going to have to be a three-legged triangle. Sorry. So it's got to be like this. There's no other way to do it. And so we'd have delta Q at the top, and we'd have, let's see if I write a different color, you can see it, M, C, and delta T at the bottom of the triangle. Um, we can still use it to solve, right? But um, it's a little harder, but not too bad, it's just because we have three letters over here and we can't put them together. All right. So, um, and of course, we're going to use some of the equations from last chapter, too, so we have to remember those. But let's start with the ones, the new one. So in my given, we have a cup containing 500 grams, so that would be M, of coffee. Uh, basically, water gives us the C, so it tells us it's C. Cools from 80 to 40 degrees, so that means delta T is equal, so if it goes 80 to 40, it's cooling down, so it would be negative 40 degrees Celsius. Um, how much heat did it lose? So that's my Q. Remember, heat is weird. In, it's the letter Q, technically lose, so it's delta Q. So in my given, I've got M is equal to 500 grams. Uh, C is equal to 4.18 joules per gram degrees Celsius. That's a grams, and that's a degree Celsius. And then we've got delta T is equal to negative 40 degrees Celsius. And um, our unknown, right, our unknown is how much heat? So delta Q equals question mark. My equation is delta Q equals MC delta T. Or I do it with my triangle. So we'd have delta Q, M, C, delta T. Um, it's already solved, so we can see that it's a pretty easy one um, to look at. So we're delta Q, so it's just equal to all those things put together. This one's already solved, so we don't have to do anything there. So for our solved, we just end up with delta Q equals everything at the bottom of the triangle, M, C, delta T. In other words, delta Q depends on all those things, right? So then, I'll write this up a little bit. So then, our solution, delta Q, is equal to 500 grams times 4.18 joules per gram degree Celsius. Oh, well, let's see if it'll stay. Move it over. Oh, yay. Um, times negative 40 degrees Celsius. All right. So I put in my calculator, 500 times 4.18 times 40, and that's 83,600. 83, and let's figure out what the units are. So grams cancels with grams, degrees Celsius cancels degrees Celsius, so we're left with joules. So we end up with 83,600 joules. There's a negative in front because of this negative and because it lost, right? So it lost negative. It, it, the heat change is negative 83,600 joules is negative because it lost energy, right? It cooled down. So heat was given off. All right, so now you want to take this 500-gram cup of coffee, which is still M, and C is still 4.18 joules per gram degrees Celsius because it's still the same thing. Um... And now we have another mass. Oh, now we have two M's. So if we have two M's, we've got to call this M1 and C1 and M2 because we've got to distinguish between the two. All right, so we're basically taking our cup of coffee. Here's my coffee, All right? And then uh, in my coffee, I am going to stick creamer. Cream, yum. All right, and so we got to figure out what the specific heat, what the C2 is, is what I'm trying to find. Now notice we... Um, 
the thermonuclear temperature is 78, so we know that delta T. We know that we started at 80 degrees, right, because it said that the coffee started at 80 degrees, and it's going to go to 78 degrees. So that means that delta T1 is ne equal to negative 2 degrees, right, because it went from 80 to 78, so that's a change of negative 2. But the cream went from 20 to 78, right? So... 20, uh, 78 minus 20 um, is 50, right? Or uh, seven, 78 minus 20 is 58, right? So it's delta T, right? The delta T for the other one is of 2 is going to be uh, 58 degrees positive, right? Because it gets warmer, right? All right. So um, in my given... We're going to have M1 equals 500 grams, C1 equals 4.18 joules per gram degree Celsius. That's a gram. And then um, delta T1 equals negative 2 degrees Celsius. And let's do green for the M2, so everything in 2. So M2, what was M2? M2 is right here. So that's equal to... 10 grams, C2 we don't know, right, because that's what we're trying to find, and delta T2 is equal to positive 58 degrees Celsius, yeah, hmm, why is that one so much bigger, think about it, okay, because that goes with the next question, all right, so our unknown um, is C2, uh, and we're going to run out of space, aren't we? Um, the equation is that the heat lost by the hot coffee is gained by the cold. So those are two M cats. So if I'm doing it with math, I'd have M1C1 delta T1 e equals, on the right side, we'll do it in green, the negative of M2C2 delta T2. Now we're doing triangles. The problem is before this M cat was equal to um, Q. So you're going to have to actually do it twice, right? So you're going to have to do a red triangle. Oops, that's not red. You're going to have to do a red triangle and you're going to have to figure out the Q. So you're going to have Q1, delta Q1, is equal to M1C1, delta T1. And then my green triangle, my green triangle is going to be negative uh, delta Q1, because that's what it's equal to, is equal to M2C2, delta T2. So it'll still work, right? So I'm going to show you both ways. So I'm going to kind of split the screen in half here. So on the left side, let's solve for C2, right? So we're going to divide both sides by M2 delta T2 with a negative, right? So we're going to divide both sides by negative M2 delta T2. That's a 2, right? And so then you can see that this cancels, and this cancels, this cancels, this cancels, this cancels, right? So then you just simply can plug everything in, right? Because your solved solution is going to be, let's see, it's going to be um, C2 equals negative M1C1 delta T1 all over negative M2 delta T2. Right. Um, if we want to do it on the other side, right? If I move this up just a tad, right there maybe. Um, so now I realize that I need to solve for delta Q one, and so I see delta Q one is here, right? But then I want to find C two, which is right here. So I'm going to race not a race, but, you know, um, highlight my C2. So then I see that if I do C2, I end up with delta. So we would end up with uh, delta Q1, which is all this, right, at the bottom. So 
these two are the same thing. We're solving for C2, so it would be all of this, right, over these two. You see it? So these two are the same, right? So I can just substitute that in there. So what I end up with is exactly the same thing, right? I end up with C2, right? C2, see it? And then all I wrote here, so the negative, because there's a negative sign there, M1, C1, delta T1, and then everything at the bottom of the triangle, M2, delta T2. So either way, I end up with both the same thing, right? I know, a lot of math, but it's really not that bad. So we've got our G-U-E-S, so now we need our last S, so we end up with the same equation. So we need to s plug in our numbers. So M1, this is a 1, right? M1 was 500 grams, so negative 500 grams times 4.18 joules per gram degree Celsius times my delta T1, where was that? Here, negative 2 degrees Celsius. Oh, that looks terrible. Let's try that again. That should be a negative 2 degrees Celsius, all divided by M2, which was 10 grams. And delta T2 right here is 58 degrees Celsius. All right. So now we need to plug it all in. Right, so we take out our calculator. Always do the top first. Always do the top first. Always do the top first. So five hundred times four point one eight times two. Notice the negatives, right? Negative here, negative here. So those ends up being positive. So four thousand one hundred and eighty on the top. We'll figure out units in a second. Ten times fifty-eight. Well, that's easy. That's five hundred. And eighty, so divide by five hundred and eighty, and you get seven point two. Now let's see if we can figure out what these crazy units are going to be. Right, so um, we see grams cancels with grams, degrees Celsius cancels with degrees Celsius, and look, you're just left with that. So it's joules per gram degrees Celsius. Done. <laughs> that was enough, right? That's as hard as I get, I promise. Um, this question number three, which is kind of buried under all my work here, right? Says, would what would you have done to make it cool faster? So you need to think about that. But basically, look at the the numbers if you want to make it cool. So it's it remember only cooled by uh, two degrees, and you can't change the specific heat. But you could have added more of it, right? So you could have increased the mass of the creamer, or you could have increased. Um, how much colder it was, right? So it could have been a lot colder, so it could have had an even bigger delta T. I think that would have been a hard one, so mass would have been easier. So you either have to have more mass or a colder starting temperature, right? So that your that would mean that your delta T is bigger, right? So that's, I don't know if we can tell, but that's for question three, okay? All right, let's go to the next page. Last one. Now you decide to heat up a 40 degrees Celsius cup, uh, 500 gram cup of coffee by dropping a mass that causes GPE energy to be transferred to the coffee via stirring. Assuming no heat loss, if the 90 kilogram mass is dropped from 0.25 meters, how much will the coffee temperature change? Okay, so now we've got two different kinds of energy. So again, we're going to have two triangles. We're going to have two um, equations. Um, to be able to make this work. So it's going to get messy again, but I'll do my best. So in my given, we're going to have, well, let's see, this is M1, this is M2, because there's two masses. This is T, we don't know what delta T is, and so this is Ti, but it really doesn't help me because I don't know what delta T is because I'm trying to find it, right? So we're trying to find delta T. We don't know what that is. Um, and it's dropped from this height, so that's an H. Oh, remember from the other one, we had the other kind of energy. That's GPE, so it's going to be MGH or FH. So in my given, M1 is going to be equal to 500 grams. And it's okay to be in grams because my C is 4.18 joules per gram degrees Celsius, right? And then we do the other color. So M2 
is equal to 90 kilograms, and that's good because we need to get it in joules, right? And it has to be in kilograms to be in joules. So you got to watch those units. Always think about that. And then my um, F, uh, remember how we did that? We did F G2 would therefore be 900 newtons because we want it in S. Or you can leave it as Mg's. And then we have H is equal to 0.25 meters. And my um, unknown, my unknown is delta T1. All right, oh, this is a 1 because that was the first thing. All right, delta T1. So we know for our equations, we're going to have to use our delta Q1 is equal to M1C1 delta T1. But now we're going to set that equal to my heat. Or sorry, to, that is my heat. I'm going to set that equal to my potential energy, which is MGH um, or FH. I'll do as MGH. It doesn't really matter. Um, and that's equal to my GPE. All right? So let's do the math way, and then we'll do the triangle way. So um, if I'm solving for this and I'm trying to solve for delta T1, I can see that I'm just going to divide by M1C1 on both sides, M1C1 on both sides, that cancels. And so we're left with our solved equation of delta T1 equals MGH over M1C1. Oh, and this was a 2, right, because this is my... My second one. Now, if I'm doing it with triangles, right? So if I cut my paper in half, right, and I do my triangles, my red triangle is going to be delta Q1. Oh, we need an extra. This one that needs two legs. Um, is equal to MC delta T, all ones. And then my blue triangle is going to be GPE equals m g h right we could do that in th two three legs but we don't because the g never changes so it can be just lumped in with our with our m um so for this one right we are trying to find the delta t ah, i keep doing the eraser i don't mean to do that i don't want to erase my delta t i want to highlight my delta t and they look almost the same. So I want to highlight that one. So I know that these two are equal, so I can just take all of this and stick it up there, right? And so if I want to solve for delta T, I can see that it's this, which is on top, divided by those two. So then I end up with the same thing, right? Because it's MGH, because that goes up there, and divided by MC. So we end up with the same thing. Yay. That's always a good thing. And so... Then when we uh, plug in the numbers, we end up with delta T1 is equal to, we're going to have to move this up a little bit, is equal to M2, which was 90 kilograms, kilograms times 10 meters per second squared times what was H, 0.25 meters, and it's all divided by 500 grams times 4.18 joules per gram degree Celsius. And again, like last time, we need to plug it in um, separately or it won't work. So we'll do the top. So we'll do 90 times 10 oops, times 0.25. So that's 225. Again, we'll do the units at the end. And then 500 times 4.18, so that's 2090, and so 225 divided by 2090 is 0.1. Oh, wow, it's not going to change very much. Every round, 0.11. All right, so it should come out degrees Celsius. Let's make sure. So we've got grams canceling with grams, and then we've got... Degrees Celsius down here, which is good, so that's going to come up here. We've got, look at this, kilogram meters per second squared meters. That's the crazy one, but that's a joule, right? Because that's a newton, kilogram meter per second squared is a newton. And there's a meter. And so this, 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 and this all cancel. So yay, it came out right. We did it right. It's degrees Celsius. And I'm done with that one. Now we got to go back up here to number five. Right, 
and it says, what could you do to make it warm more? So let's look at our equation and see what we ended up with. So we could have dropped it from higher, right? So we could have increased the height. So see how this is here? And it went to the top, so it would make it bigger. We could have had a bigger mass, right? So we could have increased the mass. And that would make, either of those would make it uh, heat up more. That's it. Now you're on your own.